This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit, and today I'm going to demonstrate you how to deploy module on ChatPy server so that we can access it from within Tableau by integrating Tableau and Python using ChatPy. So first of all, we need to, the idea behind doing this is I have got a financial data set and I would like to perform a calculation between revenue and cost of revenue. And uh, I would like to find out the difference between them using Tableau and Python integration. So I'm going to write a formula and uh, create a file within Python, a module within Python. That module we will publish or deploy on ChatPy server. And then we will be going to extract or access that module from within Tableau by using, by creating a calculated field. So the very first thing we have to do is we need to write a module in Python. So first of all, we would be writing a module in Python and for doing that, I simply use IDLE and in IDLE, create a new file and here, I would be writing import tab pi underscore client. And as you can see, uh, I have got tab pi server and tab pi client installed on my desktop. So let me show you that by going into uh, Python 36, lib, site packages, and you can check whether that tableau uh, tab pi server has been installed or not on your desktop or your environment. So in my system, I've got tableau server and tab pi client so i'm going to ex i'm going to access it and uh, let's also start the chapify server so i'll just click on chapify server and just start it up chapify server so the server web server the chapify server is ready to launch and it's listening on port number 9004 so we will be using the same port number in our code so i'll just write chapify client Client is equal to tab pi underscore client dot client, and we would be connecting to HTTP uh, local host. Here I'm using local host. In your case, if your if your tab pi server is installed on some remote location, so you need to give the uh, you need to give the IP or the address location for your server. Now in my case. The Tapi server and my Python, they are on same machine. So now I create a new module add and I'm passing getting two parameters into it, x comma y, performing some operations import numpy as np return np dot it would be returning a simple calculation I'm doing and y dot and converting as a list so if we have multiple records uh, all of them they would be convert they would be transferred as a list so it would be written as a list so at present whenever we create this module when i execute this code so this will simply run it and test it but it won't deploy on my server so in order to deploy that we need to pass a command client dot deploy module name is add comma add and a description adds two numbers that's a description x and y and we would like to overwrite if the module is already generated so i write i would like override is equal to to if mod if module already exists it will overwrite the existing one and let me execute it so i'll just save it and I will just save this as name tab i client two. So I'll just save it and test it. So when it get executed successfully, there is no output because we didn't display anything, but it successfully deploy a module on our tab server. So let's go and check on tab server. 
in query object we have an add module is added named as add and here we have number number one module so that's a number two one and that's recently added so as you can see this is created just now that was created just now pickle the archive and if you open this it's an it's a simple file so the module is ready to use now the next thing is we need to in, in, invoke this module in python in tableau so let's switch to tableau now and we are using financial data and i would like to add revenue and cost of revenue and as all of you know that whenever we subtract cost of revenue from revenue we got the gross profit so i would be adding a calculated field and display by product category so we have product category and i want to show their revenue and cost of revenue so i just drag and drop revenue here and cost of revenue also i just added over here cost of revenue and let me move revenue up before this revenue and cost of revenue now i want to add a calculated field which would be extracting the module passing variables to that module argument and perform calculations so first of all we need to connect so setting performance manage external service connectors local host and port number is 9004 so i just test the connection and make sure that your server will be running if your server is stopped you won't you will get an error message and even while deploying the module on tap by server the server need to be the server needs to be running so server always need to be up whenever we are deploying it or access it so i just okay click on okay and now let's create a calculated field and let's see the calculated field i give name as uh, let's say i'll give the default one calculation one the formula we are going to write here the script will be script underscore real script underscore real double quotes and uh, here the script would be we are getting a value so return tab pi dot query and we would be querying from a module so i write a module name as add that's my module name and as you can see that's the same module which is added just now module name add and this takes two arguments so underscore arg1 because in this module, in this module, we have a function called add function, and this function holds two inputs. Now two arguments, x and y. So argument one, comma underscore arg two. And whatever is response, that response would be track. So our response. Double quotes. Uh, double quotes fine comma and we need to pass argument so i want to pass the first of all revenue in positive and because the cost of revenue i will pass in negative so i write minus sum of cost of revenue cost of revenue comma sum of revenue so the calculation is valid click on ok and now let's test it and in order to test it I will simply drag and drop this calculation and show here. And you can see after successful calculation, we got the result and it is, uh, let me show you once again. So that's a calculation and this is showing calculation along table and calculation along table revenue is this cost of revenue, revenue is this and we can just validate this. So I just test it. 1251146 one, minus when we subtract uh, so we got 462307 so that's the correct output so that's how we successfully deploy a module on tapi server and how to access that module how to run that module within tableau by integrating tableau and python using tapi server so that's all in this video we would be coming up with some new video series in tableau python integration so do subscribe our youtube channel for more updates on tableau python integration thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye